Hello everyone, welcome to day 7 of the WordPress for the Totally Clueless tutorial program. I'm Mika, I'm your tutor. And today for day 7, I'm going to teach you all about how to change your DNS settings. DNS refers to domain name server and at the moment, where's our domains are still hosted with one and onecom because that's where we bought them and we want to transfer them to HostGator which is my hosting company oh no not actually mine but it's the hosting company that I use so that's my favorite one because of their excellent customer service so now but let me show you what I mean so let's now go to um, the WordPress site Okay, let's just go first to the domain. This is the domain that I want to change, lutonilola.com. As you can see, it's, it is still a landing page. Um, it is, this is a one-in-one.com one landing page. And uh, after 24 hours, once we change our domain name, this will be the landing, the, the landing page that you will see in here is the landing page of HostGator. So how do we change the do the domain name settings? All you have the first we have to do is to log in to our control panel in oneinone.com. As you can see, I'm already logged in. Uh, you can you I the username and the password that you need to log in is contained in the email that one and one sent you when you registered the domain. So that will be in your welcome email. Just log in and then I have several, as you can see, I have several domains in here, but I think you'd only see one on your account. And then I want to change this, lutonilola.com, so I'm going to click on one in one instant domain um, next to the number 10 because this is the 10th domain in my list. And what you will see now is the dashboard or the control panel for this particular domain we don't actually need to check out the other parts what we need to do is go here under domains and uh, here you can see lutonilola.com just check next to the box to that box next to the name and click on DNS settings and it will pull up a drop down menu from there you select edit DNS settings so this is the part now that we can you know change your domain name servers to the domain name servers of, of one and onecom just ignore this warning this is actually nothing this just tells you that if you change your domain name settings you know some functionalities may not work properly but that's okay because we don't have any hosting with them we only have them uh, we only had one in one register the name so there are no functionalities associated with that so as of the moment um, you can see that I have here one in one name server what we want to do is to click on that arrow down and use my name servers okay so what what and then here this section in here pops up so that's advanced DNS settings we have actually four boxes or entry fields for the name servers but we're only going to need two name servers and those name servers I will send to you in your email or I think I, I have sent them already so um, the name servers that we're going to use are here NS1 means for name server 1 NS2 means name server 2 Notice that there's only a slight difference between the name servers. This one is 2803 and this one is 2804. So uh, just take note of that. I copy control Z. I copied it and now I'm going here and then I'm putting the first one on primary name server. I'm pasting the same and just changing it to 04. So now I have my primary name server here and my secondary name server here and I'm going to click on OK. Just 
wait for a few minutes and then you will see this message which says process successful your DNS settings have been saved your domain will be updated accordingly usually it takes 24 hours for the domain to be updated so that's just about the right time for our next lesson tomorrow day 9 which is all about installing WordPress through the cPanel of HostGator. I'll be sending you your logins to HostGator so you can see, you know you can do this yourself and you know, we're going to really really start building your blog site or your website now. So that's it and watch out for the names reverse in the email as well as your passwords and your usernames for my HostGator hosting account. Again, I'm Mika of the Virtual Assistant and I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, no, I'll write you tomorrow. Bye!